Hi, I finished um, a book that I was sent by um, a publisher and it's a book that's been out for a while. Um, it's someone I've never come across. It's a fantasy book and it's The Song of the Sirin by Nicholas Kotar. It's the first in a, a fantasy series. There are five books in the series. Whether there will be another one, um, whether the fifth book is the end of the series, I can't tell you because I've only read the first one. And I must say, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Fantasy, this fantasy um, Game of Thrones type, uh, Lord of the Rings type stuff, I, I don't normally, it's, it's not my go-to genre. But this one, I, I did enjoy. It draws on um, a Russian fairy tale and it, it's, it expands it. And it introduces us to fantastical creatures. We've got dragons, we've got hags, we've got shapeshifters, we've got sirens. Um, we've also got nature spirits that might be good, might be evil. It, it, they... They, you know, it all depends on the circumstances almost. And sometimes they help one of our heroes and sometimes they don't. Our hit main hero is Voron. I hope I'm saying all these names right. Um, and he's on a quest. He has adventures and he has battles. And he's seeking to protect his sister. He's seeking to protect his betrothed. He's seeking to protect his land, um, Vizilia. And it's not a simple quest. He has to face monsters and he has to face his own weakness. He's a, hu a hero, but he's human. He's got flaws. He makes mistakes. Now his, his land, Vasilia, it was once happy and prosperous. Um, there was a covenant between the people and Adonis, the god. But the people are forgetting their history, they're forgetting their culture, they're forgetting their religion. And this covenant is weakening. And so the spirits of darkness, the enemies, are now beginning to walk. And it's this, the darkness, it's, it's good against evil, it's dark against light. And you've also got three other people, three other characters. You've got um, Ron's sister, um, Elabia. We've got his betrothed, Sabiana. And we've got her brother, Manian. And again, they are, this quartet are all, you get the feeling this in this first book, this quartet are all going to be vital in this battle against good and evil. Um, and again, they are all flawed. They all show human weakness. Um, and they all have to face their own trials. There are twists and turns in this. And so many monsters, fantastical creatures and spirits. Um, I appreciated the symbolism in this. Um, and also the questions raised, because Rowan, he, he is welcomed in, in his, his land. You've got three reaches. Um, the third reach is the highest, second and the first. The first reach is where poverty is. And Vowen is welcomed into the first reach. Although he's a third reacher, he is welcomed into the first reach. And he questions, he questions, and it causes us to question what happens when there's no need to strive for beauty and perfection, when everything can be mass produced cheaply and at a much lesser quality. What he's finding in the first reach is people who embrace the culture, who produce wonderful goods. In the third reach, everything is mass produced. And it's not the beauty. There's not the quality. There's not the 
the lastingness of it. Um, the descriptions of the landscape, the descriptions of the world that they are in are superb. And the creatures are so painted so vividly. There is violence in here. Um, there's a little bit of gore. I was invested in these four characters and who all these four characters who have human flaws and who must battle this darkness, this growing darkness, um, and battle their own selves. And I, I, it's a series that I will now pick up. I, you know, uh, I will go and read books two, three, four, and five because I'm intrigued to see how this battle ends. And as I said, the questions that he's asking are almost questions that are relevant today, if that makes sense. You know, have, have we lost our, our culture, our spirit? Because everything is so easy and must produced and throw away. I, I thought it was really good. So that is The Song of the Sun by Nicholas Kotar. Um, it is already out. Um, it's, it's one that I hadn't come across before, but one that I will pick up. And it's the Raven's Sun series. I think that also is called The Raven's Sun. So um, happy reading. Take care.